Hey guys, what's up? I uh, the Tron here from One Half Gazette here with the next live on War Day video. And this is another war we have in Genesis. We actually missed the match for the arranged war, so we got put with a random clan who's putting up a solid fight. Their bases aren't the best, their attacks have been okay. Um, it's probably not as close as the score might suggest because um, they've attacked almost all our bases and just gotten a lot of two stars. So they're definitely not going to be able to compete with us towards the end of the war is what I'm thinking because of how many bases have just been two starred. Um, the difference is we haven't attacked some bases, so we don't have any stars on those bases, which is why we're only about four stars ahead, having used about the same number of attacks. And looks like we got Thor going. I didn't even see that. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess, sorry guys, guess we missed that one. I totally was not paying attention. I don't know why the arrow didn't come up. That was weird. Um, but no, we'll catch some other live attacks. I won't show that one. I might just save it for the recap because we didn't see any of it. So uh, nothing spoiled, nothing hinted at or anything. But yeah, uh, just taking a look, we have basically have a few Town Hall 9s to, or just one Town Hall 9, I guess. You might see that, as well as some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attacks left. We have 12. I actually have to do my two attacks too, so I'll try to fit those in uh, in between this being ready to hit the record button if someone goes live. I'll just be here doing some homework and stuff, waiting for some attacks to go in. And yeah, I, I think it's kind of nice to do some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attacks mainly when almost exclusively the past few uh, episodes of this series have been mainly Town Hall 9 attacks. So yeah, we'll see some heavy hitter attacks hopefully. Uh, might catch two, might catch three. Probably won't be the longest video because towards the end of the war, these attacks are kind of spread out. There's not as many... Uh, you know, to, to record in the three, four hours that are left. So yeah, I'll be back with the first attack. Stay right there. Okay, here we go. We have Lord Nubis going down on number nine. Um, he is only a Town Hall 10, <clears throat> but this Town Hall 10 does not have any defenses, actually, um, or any, inf any defenses, any Inferno Towers. Um, so this shouldn't be the hardest base to three-star. I'm not sure what just happened. I think he dropped a few minions and they triggered... Or maybe the baby dragon triggered some air traps. Uh, yeah, there were some air traps on each side. So kind of missed the beginning there. But looks like he's coming in with a golem and some bowlers. Just to get in there, bite off a chunk of the base. Then I'll send in his miners. Has four heal spells. Um, not bringing a jump, which I like. You know, investing in uh, the heals and the rages, which which is often uh, can be more effective than bringing a jump if you don't need it. Uh, has the poison for the CC troops. The queen also is in the poison, which is good that rage to keep the bowlers moving. Um, King's ability is a little bit late, but looks like he'll still get some value from that. There go the miners uh, making their way in on, on the left side. This should be a pretty routine three-star, um, unless he hits any kind of weird double giant bomb formations or anything with those miners. Uh, looks like the bowlers are getting very deep into the base behind some of those barbarians. Uh, the queen just popped her ab ability. She'll go down, but uh, the miners We'll be able to take care of the rest of the base from what it looks like. Uh, there goes a giant bomb. I'm not sure where the rest of the giant bombs are. I think we've seen two go off so far. So there might be a few tucked in to that area with all those defenses. Um, but those level two miners, they have, uh, you know, enough hit points to be able to take care of themselves under the heal spells. Still has two heal spells left. So really, it's going to take probably a weird double giant bomb trigger where he loses about half his miners. Because besides that, I don't see this not being a three star. Uh, there's not a whole lot of HP between those defenses either so they can just kind of go one defense to another has that last heal spell which will drop in just a moment uh right there there, there it goes um he did lose quite a few miners to the point defense because there's so many point defense in the area but most of them have gone down already just the tesla the expo the archer tower and the cannon um the miners should be able to take care of that easily 54 seconds i think all the yeah nothing in the corners or anything this one looks pretty good Although it looks like he's lost quite a few miners um, to that expo in that area. So this one might be a little bit closer. There goes the uh, archer tower. We'll see how this turns out. Um, luckily, the town hall is not in between those defenses. So it doesn't have to worry about that. Uh, that expo also barely has any health left. Although 30 seconds, that town hall, if it has a lot of hit points left, it could be a time issue. Especially if not that many miners make it through um, from that Tesla and that expo. So here he goes. Losing a few miners, 15 seconds. Um, Tesla goes down relatively quickly. I think he has this. Uh, yeah, there's the three-star. Uh, Town Hall had pretty much no hit points left. Get a little bit close on time, but got the job done. I will back out. Nice attack to Lord Nubis. 
don't think anyone else is going in. I might do my live attack um, right now. I'm not sure if I'll record it live because I do want to, you know, have it on my iPad. I can only record my iPhone screen at the moment right now due to some of the recording software issues. So I might not have a live attack for you guys, but um, you should see a few more, hopefully at least one more, maybe two more attacks in this video. So yeah, uh, we'll give him a, oh, I think it's three. Yeah, there we go. We'll give him a woo and uh, yeah, I'll be right back with the next attack. All right, next attack, we have Captain Cold. I believe this is another, uh, "Quote unquote dip attack, but um, still a well upgraded Town Hall 10 base has pretty much max defenses, high level heroes. A very common layout that we see actually is the uh, it's kind of like a swirl of compartments with the Town Hall and the two Inferno Towers in the center. Coming in with another Bowler Miner attack. Did he miss the King's ability? No, he just got that King's ability off. So we've seen some late King's abilities. Try to get those down earlier." Um, you'll get more value for your king that way. His kill squad didn't get too deep into the base, at least not so far. Um, the queen might take out one of those infernos, though. Actually, yeah, it looks like she will get one of those infernos. So that's good. Uh, the miners only have to deal with one, and those level 4 miners definitely have enough um, hit points to go very deep into this base. We'll see how this thing ends up going. Pops the warden's ability, I'd say a little bit early. I uh, don't think it was really needed that early because now he's having to use the heal spell already for those giant bombs a little bit later and he would have would not have had to use that heal spell. Uh, the queen just popped her ability. She might get some more value. She might take out that Tesla, uh, but she will go down eventually it looks like. The miners should be fine with the warden's protection. Uh, you can see he still has, uh, well that last heal just went down actually. He has a ton of miners left up. The queen looks like she actually might fight through here. Uh, that giant bomb takes her out though. So uh, just the miners, but it looks like there's going to be plenty of them. This is going to be a three star nice attack. Pretty, pretty, I guess, easy to take out a Town Hall 10 base, especially with kind of a poor layout as a Town Hall 11, but uh, definitely something that's needed to be done and doesn't always happen. So nice attack to Captain Cold. I'll try to record one more because uh, I think we've had a few dip attacks. So even though those can be helpful to see sometimes, I do want to show maybe, uh, well, let's see what bases we have left. I'll have my, uh, I, I dropped a three star by the way, actually in between attacks. Um, we have eight, which I'm probably attacking, but we have six, we have two, so there should be a few more bases that are going to be hit. Um, assuming it doesn't take another few hours for these attacks to go, I might catch another attack or two, so yeah, hopefully I'll be back with another attack in just a moment. Alright, here we go, we got Alec going in on, oh, going in on eight, I guess, I think I reserved this base, but... Uh, whatever. Um, we kind of have a weird system going on of calling bases. I'm not exactly cl clear on how it's going, but uh, let's see if you can get the three star. This is somewhat of a tough base. You know, the infernos are spread out. It has pretty high level defenses. Um, nothing too exploitable. Gonna need to pop the queen's ability. Those Valks are good CC troops for taking out queen walks because that pretty much requires the queen's ability. Even the rage sometimes isn't enough to keep the queen up, especially if there's some point defense on her. So yeah, he pops the ability. He has two rages, you can see. Wallbreakers his queen into that first compartment. I guess he's going to get in there. Um, the Inferno is not reachable, so I'm not sure exactly what he's going to do here. Um, let's see if the queen walks on him. I don't think she will. Oh, she did. Dang. She, I, I thought she would have targeted that air defense next, but no. Um, those healers are going down. This Oh, no, the queen's coming back, but she's lost... I think probably about two of her healers. Yeah, yep, two healers are down. Uh, doesn't have the ability either. The rage is keeping her up because that rage is very effective, but um, he's not going to get much value. The king goes in with some bowlers. This attack looks like it might be falling apart, kind of. Um, we'll see how it goes. There's a lot for the miners to have to take out. At this point, yeah, just use that rage on the miners at this point. Um, needs that heal as well for the... I would have used that rage a little bit farther in where there's the town hall because right now there's so many miners they can probably take stuff out in just a few swings but the town hall has quite a few hit points they might still have the raged effect as they approach it um the healers luckily have peeled off onto the miners so he can probably be a little bit more careful not drop the heals as frequently he does have that one heal left that he wants to save but i don't think he's going to get into that next inferno quick enough uh, there's too many defenses left up kind of all surrounding the miners uh, giant bomb is going off i think that's good heal spell placement he needed to heal right on that inferno next giant bomb going off but there's just too much damage in this area uh they're not going to get the inferno tower taken out Looks like we'll see where the giant bombs are for future attacks. I'll probably attack this base, but um, nice try to Mr. Alec. Um, yeah, 
uh, looked at 62%. Had the queen gone into the base, I'm not sure what the plan was, but he probably uh, would have been able to have a better chance of three-starring the space. We'll back out, make sure there's no other attacks, and uh, say nice try. Um, yeah, good attack. Had kind of the right idea. I think miners are a good pick for that base, but just too much for the miners to have to do. So yeah, nice try. We'll go ahead and uh, take a quick break. I'll be back with the next live attack or not. We'll see if I can catch another one. Uh, I guess you guys can tell if there's more time left in the video or not right now. But yeah, I'll be back with something for you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm a little bit late. Um, We got a two-star attempt though. Uh, all that you missed was, I scoured this base beforehand actually, the queen and the king were both there, he dropped down his own queen with some healers and a rage, um, so yeah, all the heroes besides the warden were kind of in that corner, also there's the eagle, uh, but Boom Shakalaka has kind of been the guy that's been doing the, uh, two stars on the 11th, and oh, that queen almost went down, good thing he popped the ability, there was so much damage on her, um, looks like she'll take out that eagle, yeah, there goes the eagle, um, the minions are going over to the healers, I think because the queen's ability was popped. So it looks like he lost one of his healers. Um, got the eagle for what it's worth. Those healers are gonna, just going to go down, I guess. He doesn't have a poison. Goes ahead and drops in a wizard just to prolong the life of those healers. I'm not sure what he's doing with the rest of the attack, but this is getting kind of interesting. Um, has 13% of the base taken out. He still needs to find a way to get in there, get the town hall, and that's a long journey to the town hall. Uh, you can see how deep in there he actually has to get to get to that town hall. Right now, I don't think it's going to be possible, but I could be wrong. There go the wall breakers, let in the, uh, the bowlers, all that stuff into the base. Looks like everything's headed towards the opening. Uh, there's the jump spell. I'm not sure if they're going to actually follow the jump spell because there's the moat in the middle of the base here. He has 12 Valks. I'm not sure how he's going to use those guys either. Maybe the bowlers are clearing this out and then the Valks are going to try to like path directly to the town hall. But there's the spell factory. There's other stuff up that might kind of make them go. That, yeah, he's dropping in these Valks here. Um, they're headed over towards that kind of desolate corner, so we'll see how this works out. He does have a heal spell. There's no Inferno Towers, so he can heal them as he wants. A few Valks are going the long way, a few are going the short way. But actually, the ones that went the long way beat the Valks into the base. Um, let's see where they go. He'll drop that heal spell. Yeah, drop it right by that jump spell. Gotta drop that heal. There you go. Um, this is one of the weirdest attacks I've ever seen. That's a level 3 jump spell. It's gonna stay. Come on, head towards that Town Hall. There they go, they're in towards the town hall one way or another, 48%, if both these buildings go down, that'll be a two star, there's so much damage coming, can the Valks get that town hall taken out, I don't know how many are even left in there, is it just one Valk, no, th no okay, there was like four Valks, boom, that was the weirdest two star I've ever seen, you guys are going to have to let me know what you think about that in the comments, that was crazy, uh, I, I thought there was no way he's getting in there, but it worked out okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, to be honest. 50% two-star. Awesome job to Boom Shakalaka. He's two for two this war on the two stars right here. You can see, definitely helps out for him to do that. So nice job, nice attacks. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you guys liked all the attacks you saw. Kind of a heavy hitter episode of the live on War Day video. So a little bit of a different thing than the usual Town Hall 9 attacks. But for those of you Town Hall 9s, don't worry, there'll be some Town Hall 9 action coming out very soon. Uh, update's going to drop, so let me know if you're excited for that in the comments. And finally, I am doing a Q&A that kind of got thrown backseat as soon as the sneak, peek, sneak peeks came out. But the Q&A will come out eventually. Um, I might delay it a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but you can go ahead and drop a question if you want. Um, I'm not sure because a lot of questions are going to be on the update, so I'll still have to think about how I'm going to do that. But one way or another, there'll be a Q&A coming out soon. So yeah, looks like this war we have pretty much wrapped up. Um, I should, I'm should i doing a mass dragon attack. You guys will, might be able to even see that live. I'm not sure. I might record it. So that should be fun. And I'll uh, be looking for some more videos over the next few days, as always. And I'll see you guys then. Bye, Sectatron out.